Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today I want to reintroduce the still life. Because it's pretty common for artists to get off to the wrong foot with still lifes. They don't seem as sexy or as exciting as doing space marines or dragons. But here's the fact. I get tons of emails from you guys, and they say things along the lines of, I have so much to learn, I just don't know where to start. If I want to concentrate on my line work, then I'm having trouble with rendering. Or if I'm having trouble with color, I'm not able to focus on my line work. Well, here's where the still life is so great. A still life can allow you to focus on one thing at a time. Because you're literally taking an object of any sort, putting it on a table in front of you, putting a spotlight on that object, and then drawing it. And this means that you're not going to be distracted by any other aspects. So you choose carefully what object to use. Now, there might be times in school when your teacher is giving you an assignment and you can't choose the objects. But if you're doing this on your own, which is where you really learn, choose these objects wisely. Let's say I wanted to work on the way that glossy materials look. Then I would construct a simple still life full of glossy objects. I would try and keep the shapes pretty simple. I just want to look at how the surface material works in as simple of a setting as possible. And sometimes you can even modify the objects. In my basic Photoshop rendering series, I talk all about still lifes. And I encourage people to go get some cheap objects at the thrift store, thinking just about shape. And then to just put some gray spray paint on top of them, which means all of the original surface materials are wiped away. And this is a great example of doing a simple still life that focuses on one aspect. And once you've practiced with these objects a number of times, you will improve. So instead of thinking of a still life as boring or too academic, think of it as your targeted way to improve. But it really comes down to the idea of careful object selection. Don't put anything into a still life that is not going to help you achieve your current short-term goal. And if you're doing this digitally instead of traditionally, it might be a challenge to set up a physical still life in front of your computer. So in that case, taking a photo is fine. But if you're working traditionally, you should absolutely work in front of an actual still life instead of a photo. Because working from real observation is the best way to improve. But it's not always very practical when you're working on a computer. So if you're feeling overwhelmed because you have so much to learn, so many different aspects of drawing and painting. Make a still life. Force yourself to work on one aspect at a time. Because once you begin to improve on those, then you can add in more and more complexity. And all this makes drawing space marines and dragons that much more possible. So get friendly with still lifes. They are going to help you improve. Have fun, guys. Thanks for coming to the site.